further closure is coming to the end. Um, it is now staring at our faces that the best solution to headache is not the cutting of the head. The best solution to Nigerian economic problems, particularly smuggling, is not total border closure. I, I have mentioned there two times, 1983, this same government then to, uh, made total closure to all the borders because of changing of currency color. It was so effective within seven days. Everything was a standstill. Now, the borders are closed. Land borders are closed. But the water borders are not, are not closed. The traffic on water, particularly with our goose, is more heavier on water than because water movement is encouraged by the, uh, the management, particularly the security agents. They live on it. But because all of us are staying, we are living on land, our eyes are not up there. What we are doing here is as if we are legislating on land. The other time, my sister brought a uh, motion on uh, piracy. <laughs> there is nothing on piracy other than robbery. It's the same thing, smuggling and everything on water. What is happening here, if care is not taken, we will be having problems. When Baba Obasanjo was there, the patrol bases, they were 40 kilometers to the borders. Because he according to his best management uh, the policy of border day, we realized that almost half of Nigerians are in the Republic of Benin. Almost half, uh, one third of Nigerians are in the Republic of uh, Cameroon, particularly the southern Cameroon. The same thing with Niger. These are brothers and sisters. If we have good uh, border management policy, we should have resolved all these things for the past 20 years. If you open the border tomorrow, or you open it 20 years' time without any good policy the way China made, we are still going to have escalated border uh, smuggling across the border. The petrol product we are talking about, there, there is always a way we can do it. There are no tankers that are moving across the borders again. I can say it with authority. The, what we are talking, when the NMBC was talking that the, the smuggling of fuel has reduced, I laughed. The one they are taking on the IC, escorted by our security agent to South Africa, they don't talk about it in thousands. There's even a ship there now that is on this Gulf of Guinea. It's, 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 it's taking 120,000 metric tons of uh, crude oil to South Africa, escorted by our security agents. There's nothing we are talking about that one. But our brothers and sisters who are taking one one jerry can to go and feed their family is the, the smuggling. Unless the, 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 the Senate faces this particular problem and uh, enact a good law that we are, we are not going to get out of it. January is coming. The, 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 the rate of uh, crime is coming up. So, uh, the, all the hospitals along the, these uh, lines, they, we have more than almost 2,000 villages along this line. From Adamawa down to Diroko, down to even down to Gashua and so on. <laughs> Many of us will not be able to... Let me to an example to let me to your examples, there are too many. Be able to call the stakeholders and talk about this border management. If we don't do it, we are going to have problems. Now, the IMF came out last week that despite the border closure, the Republic of Benin's uh, economy is growing stronger. I think everybody read about it. But the rice growers we are trying to assist. Are they really growing rice enough? They are not. There must be no preparation for us. When we are now subsistence, we have made a, some motion on this uh, cost, uh, cutting and 
small scale industries on this thing to you can round up now we are going to have problems we must uh, take uh, call the stakeholders ask why let us know by this time of last year what are the economic benefits of border opening now that is border the border has been closed <coughs> what is the economic benefit to the nation what is the security uh, situation in this country now christmas is coming they should not carry fuel 20 kilometers christmas is coming they should not do this you can round up India. mr president let us take a look at these laws that are being passed without our backing thank you very much well the sungish colleagues will go to the press but before